Okay, so uh, for Winfrey model, um, when it runs on Winfrey, uh, it doesn't come out, the air doesn't come out from this plate anymore, so it will come out through this uh, micro holes, okay? Because uh, it, uh, we want to reduce the velocity of air coming out from this indoor unit uh, to reduce the cold draft issue. Lah. So this is actually uh, Winfrey technology and the velocity of air coming through is around 0 0.15 meter per second, lah, which in astratum, uh, they define it as steel air. Okay. So this is Winfrey technology. Lah, okay. And then uh, the second uh, core technology for Samsung is, of course, uh, uh, smart things uh, right smart things right. so for smart things uh, basically this is a smart home solution uh, because nowadays I think a lot of customers a lot of uh, developers they are re uh, requesting for some kind of a, a smart home solution uh, whereby they can control all the appliance and uh, and the device in their home just using one uh, one phone or one tablet uh. Okay, so for Samsung, of course, we do have a smart things uh, application. So this is actually uh, free of charge. Uh, okay, you can download uh, for free uh, from uh, the sorry the what the Apple Store and also the Android Play Market, right? So basically, you can control uh, all Samsung home appliances, including TV, washing machine, refrigerator, vacuum board, uh, washing machine. And of course, our aircon, lah. and also plus with a third party device such as uh, those uh, CCTV, door lock, and many on. Okay, so once you download this one, you can check on the, the list of the brands that can be connected with our smart things. So it's really a lot, lah, right? Okay, so we move on to our uh, first product, which is the RAC. So, RAC, when we're talking about RAC, it's actually a residential aircon. Lah short terms of residential aircon and this one is actually we refer to split unit wall mounted so let's have a look at the video for a while. and i say there there's no audio from the video There's some uh, setting I missed. Okay, okay. Uh, it's okay. I think for this video, I just explain. Okay, so this is our latest uh, product for wall mounted uh, Winfrey Premium Plus. All right, so it comes with the Winfrey technology plus the built in Wi Fi kit. Lah. So once you purchase this one, you install this icon and you just need to register your account in our SmartThings application. And you can straight away control uh, this icon using your phone with all the features uh, without any any subscription fee or any charges, lah, right? So this is some uh, improvement we made on the outdoor unit, like especially on the compressor. So digital inverter boost plus twin tube muffler. So basically to reduce the notch level of the outdoor unit. Right. So that is our wall mounted uh, wind free. And in terms of product range of our REC, we have uh, three types. Uh, we have inverter and sonar inverter. And we are using the latest case, uh, which is R32 for all of our REC model. Right. We have premium plus and inverter uh, as inverter for our inverter model and we have one model for non-inverter. So in terms of capacity is 1, 1.5, 2 and so 2.5 horsepower. Right? And in terms of warranty, we provide you with a 10 years uh, inverter compressor uh, and it is multiple claim. Right? So meaning uh, uh, the first time or maybe the second time breakdown or the third time example of a comp compressor breakdown. You can still replace a uh, one-to-one -one without any uh, extra charge, uh, right? Just the second time, let's say your compressor breakdown again, then you just need to add on the labor charge, 
okay so you can still replace one to one without charge for the compressor so there is multiple claim 10 years for our compressor warranty and then general part will be one year right so basically the difference between our premium plus and as inverter so in term of uh, physical outlook is about the same just that as inverter is without um wind free and without the built-in wi-fi kit right and for our non-inverter basically it's a basic model like con right so of course when we're talking about project usually if you want to go for price then of course we will uh, quote i mean the best price lah for the project right so uh some core features of our rec uh we are i'm talking about our wind free uh rec so of course number one will be um auto mode lah. we call it auto mode but actually for samsung it is ai so artificial intelligence so basically for samsung uh, what's the difference auto mode between uh samsung and conventional brand so ai we are talking about um some kind of uh, artificial intelligence or robot lah. i mean uh, for your preferred uh, temperature setting or control setting right because uh, for our rec unit uh, wind free and also as meter we have a few uh, sensors on the outdoor unit and also indoor unit temperature sensor and also humidity humidity sensor lah. all right so from this sensor actually it will uh, it will adjust when you press ai so it will not adjust your uh, airflow because usually when you press auto you uh, the aircon will only adjust the the fan speed whether go to low or maybe medium or high but for our ai auto it will adjust the airflow the um the temperature and also the mode so mode such as a uh, fan dry cool or wind free mode right so this is our uh, this is specialty of our ai auto and secondly of course healthcare so we are using a uh, tricare filter uh, the filter is uh, very convenient to access because it's located on top uh, so you can just uh, snatch and take it off uh, for vacuum or clean right and then uh, wind free mode so with our wind free cooling uh, you can save up to 50 uh, 58 percent of uh, energy uh, by using wind free plus the inverter compressor operation and lastly of course the smart things uh, you can control all the features uh, such as those uh, temperature uh, timer and even monitoring your monitor your electrical consumption power consumption you can also do that using our smart things without any uh, extra charge okay basically free of charge lah. okay so uh, this is will be additional features for the outdoor unit and we have sub made some improvement lah for the outdoor unit uh, this one mostly for uh, will be um beneficial to the installer because sometimes uh, when they want to do some repair work they can see a lot of those uh, dead lizard or maybe those uh, frog inside the pcb area so we have made the gap closer so those uh, those kind of rodents cannot enter uh, those area right and then we have triple protection plus compressor controller fin protection a super dima basically anti corrosion uh, resistant for the base of the outdoor and also side bracket of the outdoor unit uh, using zinc aluminium and magnesium and uh, the one that i would like to highlight is actually on the durofin lah. okay so durofin is the heat exchanger uh, located on the outdoor unit lah. okay so durofin in terms of material is made up of uh, aluminium okay uh, compared to conventional, usually you will be uh, seeing the uh, copper and aluminium fin and tube. Okay, but for Samsung, we are using Durofin. So, material is made up of aluminium and coated with two types of anti-corrosion material, which is chromium and zirconium. So, uh, why Samsung using Durofin? Why not use the conventional heat exchanger? It's because actually in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, material characteristic, aluminium will have a better uh, efficiency of a heat transfer process. Lah. And of course, in terms of the design, if, if uh, you can see over here, uh, the surface contact area is larger compared to uh, conventional copper and aluminium. Lah. So the heat transfer process will be much more efficient lah, uh, for our durofin. And this is some of the benefits of our durofin. So five times larger heat transfer area per internal volume, seventeen percent reduction in friction because of the design, right? And uh, from that, it will result in hundred and twenty two percent micro channel condenser heat exchange ratio, right? So this will be the advantage uh, of aluminium uh, of our durofin, okay?
And then uh, this is some improvement made on, on the design. Lah. So basically, we have reduced the number of pipe into three and also screw point just two. Right? So this is uh, really a lot of improvement, especially for the installer. So you can reduce the, the time to install and also dismantle the aircon. And the rest just snap and fit design, no more screw. Okay. Uh, any question on our REC so far? You want to ask? Maybe on the duro fit? Um, no. Okay. Maybe after you present the whole thing first. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right. Yeah. So we move on to CAC, commercial aircon. So for our CAC uh, product range, we have uh, one week cassette, four week cassette, 360 suspended and also ducted unit. Okay, in terms of warranty, we provide you with uh, five years warranty and general parts will be one year. Right. And this one also uh, multiple clip. Okay, five years multiple clip. So, uh, one week I said, uh, we have up to uh, 2 power horsepower from 1.5, uh, 2 and also 2 power horsepower. Uh, 360 and 4 week I said, we'll be having the same capacity to maximum 5 horsepower. Right. So, uh, our one week I said, and also 4 week cassette uh, is also using a wind fit technology. So, meaning you can see uh, the micro holes on the indoor unit uh, panels. Okay. And for our 3CC cassette, so this one also a bit special because um, currently in the market, uh, Samsung is the pioneer. Lah, okay. The pioneer and actually or originally uh, this uh, circular design comes from Samsung. Uh, and then after over over some some years, uh, there are other brands lah, uh, come up with a similar concept. But actually, it's different. <coughs> So we are the pioneer of this uh, 3CC cassette, all right? And then we have ceiling suspended and also ducted unit. Lah. So for our ducted unit, basically this one is a, a medium static up to 7 horsepower and a ducted unit 3 to 5 horsepower. Okay, so for our one-way cassette, uh, the specialty is uh, number one will be slim design. So only 135 uh, millimeters. Okay, you just require uh, 135 millimeters or at most 200 mm lah for ceiling space because it's slim. So it's very flexible to install. Lah. So actually, this one is actually a good replacement lah. Instead of uh, maybe you're proposing to your customer uh, by using uh, maybe wall mounted or ducted unit, instead actually you can propose our one way cassette lah. Okay, especially maybe for those are uh, residential bungalow house usually like those uh, bedroom uh, usually customer they just want the wall mounted uh. so maybe uh, you can try to propose them uh, maybe they want something different something more more premium more aesthetic so you can use a uh, one week asset and uh, secondly uh, uh, on uh, hotel projects uh. Uh, hotel projects usually for the guest room we will use a uh, ducted type right so actually instead of using ducted we can also use slim uh, sorry slim uh, use a one week asset okay it's a good replacement alternative and then uh, healthcare this one we're talking about the filters so similar like our RAC and then uh, this one we are talking about the uh, operation of our um, one week asset lah. okay so by having those uh, slim design uh, in term of uh, installation it will be much more flexible and uh, uh, example on this one let's say if you have maybe you have a structure or beam uh, on the interior right so sometimes when uh, you are using uh, when we are proposing ducted type uh, maybe you will uh, find some challenge uh, uh, where you want to put or uh, you are trying to locate the ducted unit but by our by using our one way cassette actually because uh, it has a downward uh, atro and you can also adjust uh, the direction of airflow using your controller so it will uh, it will be it will be uh, beneficial lah, okay for the designers and also engineers lah, to, to use our uh, to propose our one way cassette right and of course, uh, last but not least, will be smart things. Lah. So this one is also smart things uh, ready. So for our CAC, uh, you just need to install Wi-Fi kit, lah, okay, to to connect uh, our aircon unit with our smart things application. So this is um, some comparison, lah, okay, between um, using ducted type and also using one week asset. So of course, when you are using ducted type, you will need to have a access hole or manhole. Lah. Right for the installer to to install or maybe to to do some uh, repair work on the units. 
and of course you will need uh, more gap lah, most more ceiling space uh, rather than use a one week cassette right so uh, however by using our one week cassette actually uh, we have the option of not using the manhole meaning you can have option uh, not to have this access access hole all right uh, because actually all the components and units we can just access uh, from this uh, the return grill over here and then you can just uh, detach this uh, 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 grill filter and then you can straight away access all those uh, propeller fan and also uh, components PCB inside here right so this will be the advantage lah, of using one way cassette compared to ducted unit right and of course for filter we have few options lah, right we are, we are using the uh, pre-filter tricare filter but you can also uh, uh you can also uh, upgrade to pm 1.0 filter optional right. and then uh, for our four-way cassette uh, we have uh, also uh, some of the features similar like our rac lah, like uh, our four-way cassette we have the wind free and also we have the ai auto similar like rac then uh, we have uh, this uh, big atro basically for the blade it has a light, uh, larger and also wider blade, lah. Okay, so meaning in terms of air throw, it will throw, uh, it can throw the cool air much more further, right? Compared to conventional four-way cassette. Uh, smart things ready, and of course, uh, uh, all our uh, cassette type, one-way cassette, four-way cassette, and so 360 built in a uh, drain pump, and inside drain pump is actually uh, equipped with a, a check valve. Okay, so this check valve is uh, to prevent the drain water to reverse back uh, to the drain pan lah. Okay, uh, this is actually to reduce the common issue lah of uh, gas tap tap, which is actually uh, water droplet, right? Sometimes uh, you see those are uh, leaking and cause the the ceiling uh, to break or something lah, right? So by having our check valve, we can uh, prevent uh, those issues, right? So, uh, additional features of our unit is actually uh, auto clean. Okay, auto clean applied to our uh, this uh, four way cassette and also our RAC. So, basically, auto clean is actually to dry the cooling coil inside the indoor unit. Okay, to to prevent or to reduce the 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 mold uh, built inside uh, the in, uh, cooling coil. Right, because over time after. Uh, every time after you turn off your aircon, actually the cooling core will be very moist or very wet, lah. Right? If you don't dry it, then uh, over the time, actually it will create those uh, mold, lah. Meaning you will need to have uh, uh, maintenance, lah. Maybe uh, once per year or, or twice per year, right? Uh, those chemical wash. But by having our auto clean, actually you can reduce the frequency of uh, maintenance of the indoor unit. Okay, and then. Uh, Last but not least of uh, uh, our three uh, our CAC will be the three sixty cassette. So uh, three sixty cassette. Hold on, uh, I'm not so sure if this video. Some. Hold on. Is there a sound? Uh, nope, there's no sound. <laughs> no sound. Okay, never mind. So uh, usually for our circular cassette, we always compare with four-way cassette, lah, right? So usually for four-way cassette, of course, uh, you will have uh, those blades to control the air direction, so which will reduce in uh, the airflow, lah, if due to friction, and common issue will be blade dust, lah, right? And you have uh, four blind spot, okay, because on the edge, uh, four outlet, and we have uh, four edges, so we have blind spot. And of course, a uh, common issue for uh, cassette type will be cold drop. Okay. Especially when you're sitting in the office, lah, uh, four hours straight or maybe eight hours, right? Uh, that you need to, to wear, sometimes you need to wear sweater or you need to direct the, the air to the other direction. So to 
overcome those issues, uh, Samsung actually in, have introduced a 3CC cassette, lah, all right? So, bladeless technology, meaning uh, actually no more blade to control the direction of air, right? Zero percent airflow reduction. And when because here the design, so in terms of airflow ratio, 3CC having a better uh, ratio compared to four way cassette. So cold draft free. So no. How far will uh, it throw? this one the maximum capacity five volts of power. Uh, can go up to nine point of diameter. So actually, it's quite far. Sorry, say again. A nine point three meters of uh, diameter. Oh, nine point three meter uh, diameter lah. That means it will be four point five meter lah radius. Yep, correct. Okay. So it's uh actually it's slightly better compared to conventional uh four way cassette lah. Usually, four way cassette is around uh, six to seven meters okay, for the maximum capacity. So, our JCC can have a slightly better uh, coverage. Lah. Okay, because because of the just now you see in the video, because of the booster fan. Right. Okay, so uh, by having the booster fan actually, as you can see in the video, um, actually it re replaces the function of the blade to control the air. So we have of course the, the middle one, we have the turbo fan to supply the cool air. On the side actually, we have three units of uh, mini booster fan. So the function actually, it will create uh, some uh, suction uh, pressure over here, right? Uh, over here actually, you can see one uh, small uh outlet okay for the booster fan to create suction on the air coming out from this turbo fan lah. so meaning the faster the rotation of booster fan then the suction power will be higher then the air will be going up lah, right so the lower the rotation of booster fan then the the suction power will be lower so the cool air will go down so this is actually new uh innovation lah, uh, for this kind of aircon right and uh, uh, by having this booster fan, of course, we can have a different airflow direction, lah, right? We can have spot, mid, and also wide. Spot will be direct uh, direct uh, blow to you. Mid is around 45 degrees. And for wide, is actually around, uh, I can say around zero degrees, lah, meaning cool air will go to the ceiling and it will drop down. So by having this wide uh, mode, actually, uh, this is the way you can actually reduce the cold draft issue, lah, right? And we have three outlets, so each outlet you can control the direction individually, okay? And you can see uh, uh, through this uh, LED indicator lah on the indoor units, right? So uh, some uh, some of the comparison between uh, 360 and also four-way cassette, actually Samsung have made uh, one study lah for one project in Senegal, Brazil. So actually they are comparing, uh, they compare between uh, six units, of uh, four-way cassette versus just uh, four units of uh, 360 cassette, and the CFD result uh, and and also the analysis uh, showing that uh, by having just um, four units of 360, the the airflow and also the air distribution air coverage is uh, much more better compared to uh, six units of uh, four-way cassette. So this is actually comparison lah uh, between uh, 360 and also four-way cassette. You can see for 360, uh, it is more bluish color in the room over here, right? So meaning the air distribution is much more uh, even, okay? so better compared to four-way cassette. And uh, of course, uh, pre-filter, and we have a built-in drain pump, check valve. Okay. And uh, as you can see in the video, we can cover up to 9.3 meters of diameter, right? So this will be the advantage of uh, 3CC cassette lah, uh, compared to 4-way cassette. Right? And we are, we are talking about uh, aesthetic or design. Uh, of course, you, you can have the option to choose whether white or black color. Lah. Uh, this one is uh, original uh, black from, from Samsung. 
and also for the panel we have circular and also we have uh, the square shape okay uh, project reference we will go later All right can we interrupt a bit before we go to the next one yeah yeah can you uh look at the comparison for the cop and energy efficiency ratio compare uh, with uh, the round and the square ceiling cassette and if possible other brand like taking panasonic okay um uh, later on i can share you the comparison because right now uh, i need to check back whether that one is the latest or not but uh, in terms of uh, oh, okay. in terms of uh, er or cop basically uh, comparing between samsung product lah, okay uh, 360 and also versus uh, four week set in terms of er uh, actually it's about the same lah. it's about the same uh, not much uh, not, not much difference uh, between mm. four week set and also three, uh, 360 just that in terms of the futures um in terms of the air coverage uh the advantage would be more on the 360 cassette lah. okay and um, this one actually uh, i give you example because uh, previously we have uh, we have did uh, one uh, uh, project just small project lah, right? uh, i think it's not here it's not here um uh, it's a piece lah, okay then uh, customer they are requesting for cassette type so there are few competitors so other brands uh, if i'm not mistaken accent and also pet yeah they're quoting uh, six units of a uh, new week cassette and then we try to propose to the customer just uh, four units of uh, um, 360 cassette but actually we upsize lah, uh, the unit to one size higher and uh, and they are also having uh, issue on the account match. Lah. They have limited the space. Uh, end up um, by having our proposal, actually, a customer claim that our price is uh, slightly lower compared to those competitors. Okay. So that will be the advantage lah, of having the 9.3 meters of diameter, right? Compared to power. In terms of ER, uh, it's about the same. Uh, that This one is comparing between uh, Samsung and Samsung. Lah. But if you are talking about Samsung versus um, like those uh, Daikin or so Panasonic, um, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, the ER also is not very much different. Uh. But maybe later on we can uh, share you uh, the information. Okay. Uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, just just to just to do a side check on that. Huh? Um, I'd like to, uh, maybe we'll, we'll find out, we'll find the, the data that you require uh, just now. Uh, I think it's because we, we, we recently changed product from, from a previous model to our current model. That's why we saw verifying the, the information. And also, um, the reason why, uh, Nasser informed, uh, just now that, uh, ER or COP for the, for the, between the, 360 cassette and the and the four-way cassette is about the same is because uh, we're using a universal outdoor mm -hmm. unit yes. meaning meaning the outdoor for uh, ceiling cassette uh, four-way in the ceiling cassette 360 and the ducted they're the, they're the same type it's sim it's the same outdoor unit okay okay thank you Toby. Right, so we just go straight to the next product, which is our VRF system. Okay, so uh, for our VRF system, we call it uh, DVMS, Digital Fiber Multi. S is for Samsung. Okay, DVMS. So we have um, Daikin, we have uh, VRV, uh, uh, Panasonic, we have uh, FSV, FF, FSX. Right. So Samsung, we have DVMS. So uh, let's share. Do you have the so-called multi-split unit? Uh, sorry, come again. Multi-split unit. That means uh, maybe uh, two or three indoor, one outdoor multi-split. Uh, yes, we of do using have. VRV. Uh, yes, uh, we do have, but uh, unfortunately, it's not inside this uh, slide. Uh, basically, for our uh, multi-split unit, okay. uh, we can go up to five horsepower lah, you know, for one outdoor. And uh, we uh, maximum combination will be five units lah, of indoor unit. 
So we have a few types of uh, outdoor unit which can couple to whether uh, two indoor units or three or four or five. Maximum would be five. And in terms of capacity, uh, we can go maximum to five horsepower. Lah. And for the uh, indoor units, uh, we have few options. Uh, we have uh, those wall mounted. We have ducted type, low static ducted type. And we have uh, a one-way cassette also. And we have a mini four-way cassette. So uh, comparing between the the indoor unit range with um, uh, split unit and also um, our VRF system, our multi split is uh, slightly limited lah in terms of the uh, indoor unit uh, range selection. Okay. So uh, okay. if you. What's the maximum piping for our multi split? Yes. For our multi split, uh, maximum uh, we can go up to 50 meters. That one will be the maximum. Lah, 50 length. meters. Uh. Ah, oh, five zero, 50 also, meters. depend on capacity, right? Uh, yes, correct. Depend on uh, 50 meters is uh, for the 5 horsepower. Lah. And oh, then okay. uh, for the height, is around uh, the highest will be 15 meters. Uh, 1, 5. 1, 5 meters for the 5 okay. horsepower. Uh, sorry, okay. forgot to mention you. In terms of piping length, for our CAC, also similar. So basically, our CAC and FGM almost similar uh, limitation in terms of the pipe length. Uh, maximum is 50 meters uh, and the height is 15, okay. uh, one five meters. Uh. But for our RAC, the pipe length uh, for one and so one for five horsepower is the same, which is um, uh, 15 meters, one five. And for two and so two for five horsepower, for our RAC is uh, 25 meters. Okay. Thanks. All right. So I continue with our uh, VRF. Okay. So uh, currently for VRF system, uh, for Samsung, uh, for Malaysia market, uh, we are one of the largest, uh, we are one of the brand uh, to have the largest uh, capacity in one module, which is 30 horsepower, okay. Like those uh, Japanese brand like uh, Panasonic and also Daikin, uh, uh, one module, they can go up to 20 horsepower, but for some, so we can go up to 30 horsepower, right. And we can go up to maximum 90 horsepower in one system. So meaning 30 times 3, three units, uh, 30 horsepower times 3 units. Uh, so we can combine maximum 90 horsepower in one system. Uh, I think uh, there's a technical problem on the video. Never mind. It's okay. Let's just keep. So uh, in terms of indoor units, we can just uh, mix and match any, right? We have uh, everything like those uh, C, uh, 360 cassette, uh, wall mounted, ceiling ducted, medium, low and also high static uh, and many more, right? Including the floor standing. Right? So you can just mix and match a maximum 64 indoor units in one system, right? For 30 horsepower. So in terms of capacity uh, for our standard DVMS, uh, 8 up to 30 horsepower in one module. Right. Uh, actually, this one uh, dual model we refer to the two fans lah, But this one considers still one block, one module. Right. Eight to thirty is a uh, one module. Then uh, thirty-two to sixty two module, and sixty-two to ninety is a uh, three modules. Right. And we also have a uh, mini VRF. Uh, we call it TVMS Eco. So this one from three up to fourteen ohms power, and inverter compressor will be five years, and general part will be one year. So uh, just now I mentioned we can go up to 90 horsepower, but actually depending on the customer requirement or project requirements, let's say if they really request for 120 horsepower in one system, we can also do that. But usually for our standard uh, practice, lah, uh, okay, uh, usually we just limit to 90 horsepower. Because usually for BRF system, even 90 horsepower, uh, we consider it as already uh, very huge system. Unless you require 120 horsepower, we can also do. But of course, this one we will need to refer to our HQ in Korea. Okay. 
so this is some of the uh, technology inside our uh, DVMS, right? So number one in terms of the compressor, so some of the technology and improvement uh, such as the uh, we call it the uh, asymptotic scope compressor. Uh, basically, we have increased the compressor to the uh, and for the inverter compressor. Uh, we are using uh, this uh, DDI system lah, dual digital inverter compressor, uh, third generation vapor injection lah. So basically this one uh, uh, to increase the efficiency lah of the uh, compressor uh, compressor unit, right? And we have a PHG sub cooler lah. But I think this one is uh, quite common lah uh, for other brands also, right? And then uh, in terms of corrosion resistance, of course, our development unit, we have few types of anti-corrosion layer. And for the hybrid exchanger, this one is actually uh, uh, copper and aluminium, all right? But the design is slightly different. Lah. So basically, we have made some improvement on the design so that uh, the air will go down. Uh, I mean, the air that will be coming through from this uh, uh, bottom area will be having the same uh, velocity lah, as the top here, right? This one to increase the efficiency of a uh, cooling process. Okay. So those are some of the technology improvement uh, that we have lah, for our uh, DVMS outdoor unit. Now I would like to talk about um, our pipeline. So um, this is also one of our other that's called 90 hour in one system. Uh, our pipeline also, we have number one, the 220 meters uh, longest pipeline from outdoor to the furthest indoor unit. Okay, so this is uh, also one of our advantage because uh, currently in the market, uh, closest competitor they can only go up to 190 meters. Uh, okay, which is the normally Japanese. they are talking about to the first Y joint one. Ah, uh, yes, correct. Uh, that one will be the most challenging part. <laughs> okay. Ah. okay. Uh, for for the first Y joint to the furthest indoor unit. Uh, this one is for uh, go from 45 maximum to 90 meters. First, why join to the furthest law unit? Okay, okay. Uh, similar and then uh, 1000 meters to the pipeline, also similar uh, for other VRF, also. And uh, another advantage will be this one 110 meters height difference, vertical height. Okay, this one provided your outdoor unit is located on top. Lah on top of indoor unit so 110 meters uh, this one uh, closest competitor uh, 90 meters lah. okay so uh, this one the two, 220 is our advantage but actually uh, this one usually uh, no really i mean uh, use not issue even though you have a slightly lower but for our vertical 110 meters Sometimes this one also can be critical lah, because sometimes you have uh, maybe project uh, they want to put outdoor unit just uh, one area at the rooftop there. Maybe you have 25 stories or 27 stories, right? So uh, if you have slightly lower, then uh, sometimes it can be um, issue also lah. It can be a challenge because uh, I also face some, I mean, a uh, few project also whereby they really want to have to put the the DVMS outdoor unit just one location at the top there but actually they are having an issue with the vertical pipeline lah. so meaning they will need to allocate some space maybe at the middle or maybe at the ground there to put uh, the the balance of the uh, the DVMS outdoor unit okay because cannot go uh, more than certain height so this one also sometimes will be uh, will be uh, so we, the I mean it will be a challenge especially for the engineers and also designers right 110 meters okay and then uh, the rest basically is similar like any other uh, brands uh, in terms of the uh, pipe limitation okay so uh, what is the advantage of having the 30 horsepower so of course uh, in terms of uh, space saving because you reduce the number of uh, module then you can save a lot of space lah, right and then uh, when we are talking about uh, maybe huge project 
uh, there will be some uh, significant uh, cost impact lah. You can see the reduction of cost because uh, actually uh, in terms of installation, uh, you can maybe uh, reduce the number of uh, those Y join, okay, RefNet join. Then you can reduce the number of uh, wiring, those uh, power related facilities, and you can also reduce the number of uh, those uh, uh, concrete slab to support the DBMS, right? So this will be cost saving for the DBMS TOS power, and of course, uh, weight reduction lah, because the TOS power uh, is very around 350 kilogram lah for one module, the TOS power, and from those space saving actually. You can have uh, commercial saving lah. You can generate for other incomes. So. Okay, maybe the owner can rent for other purpose like cafe or maybe uh, some other functions, so. right? So our DVMS Eco. So for our DVMS Eco, um, currently we have the lowest uh, capacity for uh, VRF system, which is three horsepower, and we have the largest um, capacity for mini VRF, which is fourteen horsepower. Okay, and this one is a side discharge, huh? a hot air side discharge. So three horsepower sometimes can be advantage to us also. Okay. So uh, some some people might ask. So uh, what's the difference between uh, your three horsepower uh, mini VRF versus your multi split? Because multi split also we have three horsepower, and you can connect to five. So the advantage will be more on the pipe length, right? Because uh, for uh, three horsepower uh, multi split, uh, maximum will be fifty meters. But for our TVMS uh, Eco, because it's a VRF system, it can go longer than that, lah more than 50 meters okay so we can go up to 160 meters of length right uh, for and inter or cop is it better uh yes uh, for vrf definitely will be better compared to uh, multi-split and also split unit lah. of course the uh, cost also will be higher right uh yes in terms of equipment of course uh for vrf will be slightly higher lah compared to multi-split but uh, be, uh, uh, depending on the project, lah. But uh, let's say if you're really having trouble uh, on the pipeline, maybe because you want to locate the outdoors somewhere further, then uh, no choice. You have to do. You have to use a uh, uh, VRF system, lah. Unless if within 50 meters, then of course uh, when you're talking about, uh, you need to consider on the budget also. And of course, maybe you can use a uh, split. Lah. Okay. Anyway, uh, we can uh, we can always advise you what's the best equipment that we can propose lah, depending on the project. And, uh, also, uh, just to inform you guys, uh, in, in case like you have a project that would require um, like a, either a multi split or a VRF product, uh, we can do a little bit of both, uh, such like a mix and match of whatever you you require. Maybe there would be some application that the multi step would be too short. Then we can we can utilize the the DVMS Eco, or we can also um, like some some portion of the building can be multi split, some portion of the building can be uh, VIF uh, DVMS Eco. So it's it's compatible for any kind of situation that we can uh, do. And also, uh, if ever we can also do like a comparison. Uh, based, of course, on like um, requirement and the um, like uh, requirement for the cooling and also like the the space requirement. So um, all of these we can we can discuss uh, moving forward. Can I couple your outdoor unit? Couple. Up. Couple between uh, uh, you are talking about different system multi split with VRF. Uh, uh, VRF, VRF. Um, you cannot couple. Uh, multi split will be the the range for multi split. We cannot combine between multi and also the VRF system. It will be different. No, no. Uh, I means I couple within the VRF system only. Oh, you mean the uh, outdoor unit? Uh, for mini yes, VRF. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, uh, not possible. You cannot uh, couple like the standard DVMS. Uh, so oh. like, like a three horsepower, then you cannot couple with uh, maybe you want to make make it six. 
uh, this one cannot uh, only for our standard DVMS the the module one that one can but the, this one cannot. Let's say for example, I the one floor I need around fifty horsepower, mm -hmm. so I can use your outdoor to couple up to make it become a fifty horsepower like that. Yeah, yes, correct. For our our standard DVMS lah, the big one. Yeah. But for our DVMS equal, uh, cannot we cannot do that. Okay, noted. Thanks. Okay. Uh, another question is the outdoor you the VRF system, right? Mm -hmm. Your the fan at the outdoor one, mm -hmm. can is it double speed or single speed? Um, for our fan, it will be a peak speed. Peak speed. Uh, fixed speed for our DVMS uh, outdoor fan. Oh, because I got one experience uh, because of the the heat uh, we because of the ducting and then the length too long and then the heat cannot be bring down a lot so I've been using other brand before uh, they they actually can set the fan speed uh, higher mm -hmm. so to increase the static and then help me to solve the problem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay mm. Uh, let me get back to you on this one Okay, uh, because I usually when okay. you're talking about those, um, sometimes maybe uh, the location of the outdoor you need a too compact or maybe too close lah. So maybe you need to have yes, yes, correct. Right. Uh, understand, understand. Yeah. Uh, I tried to get back to you on this one. Uh, I cannot remember whether it's a as I know it's a fixed speed, but maybe you can do setting on the uh, static pressure. I, I get back to you on this one. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, any question on our uh, VRF? Any more question you want to ask? So far, not from me. Okay, okay. if uh, no other question, I just proceed to the control system. Right. So uh, for control system, uh, for Samsung, we are using this language we call NASA protocol. So meaning uh, uh, within our Samsung icon, the com they communicate uh, between each other using NASA protocol. So of course, every brand they will have a different uh, language protocol, right? So the advantage of uh, this NASA protocol actually can uh, uh, it can enable. Uh, I can see. Uh, it can enable uh, around eighty percent of our uh, icon to be combined together. To be connected together with our centralized control system. Uh, example, uh, example, uh, you have one project, a VRF system, then you connect all the equipment using one uh, centralized controller, lah, right? Then maybe uh, you want to add on after the project completed, the VRF uh, completed. Maybe uh, in future, let's say, customer requested, maybe they want to add on at the control room or maybe the guard house split unit, lah, split unit or mounted, but he want to connect. Uh, he want to monitor uh, into one system right so for samsung we can do that meaning uh, once you install our uh, uh, rsc uh, win3 premium plus example it can be connected together uh, with the centralized control system uh, because uh, we are using this NASA because uh, some other brands uh, they cannot do this uh, meaning in their split unit uh, must be separate they cannot combine the uh, control system together with the prf system okay so this will be one advantage uh, and of course, um, nowadays uh, a lot of project they are using BMS. So for Samsung, uh, we can also connect to uh, the common one will be don't work and also backnet, uh, right? For the sensor control system. So this one no issue, uh, right? And then uh, we have a uh, sensor controller. We have this uh, touch screen type. We can control up to 128 indoor units. And for a higher level of control, uh, we have BMS 2.5, uh, Right, so the MS 2.5, we have many types. Uh. We have the, the basic one, and of course, we have the one that can be connected with PMS. And we have those um, uh, individual controller, uh, wireless, wireless, and this is Wi Fi kit. Okay, Wi Fi kit, uh, meaning you can enable your uh, equip, aircon equipment to be connected with our smart things. Right, so one, one Wi Fi kit can control 16 indoor units. And of course, we have some others, um, those uh, device or interface module, right? 
So for our uh, DM, DMS 2.5, uh, the interface will be on a desktop, uh, so meaning you need to have a desktop to see all the features and control all the features. Uh. So you have many options, you can do the basic one, uh, the, the temperature, timer, uh, and also you can do many settings, uh. you can check operation history management, you can print out all the history, uh, uh, those, uh, power monitoring, everything can be done by our DMS 2.5. So the last will be our project reference. Sorry, sorry, interrupt yeah. for what? Can you go back. So uh, let's say in future, like uh, my my client want to do the auto billing system. Is it can mm -hmm. can be do it? Auto, auto billing, billing system. Auto billing uh, basically related to the power power consumption. Uh. Yes. Okay. Uh, auto billing. Uh, okay basically uh, for power monitoring we will need to have a uh, other device we call it pim module so similar like our dms lah. so that one will be connected to our dms and then uh, you will if you want to have a um, super accurate uh, power monitoring of course you need to have power meter on every indoor units lah. but when we are talking about um, vrf system usually uh, the most consumption will be on the outdoor unit lah. and based on our experience usually we will uh, put the power meter most of the time at the outdoor unit only lah. right so yeah. we can also do the auto bill auto billing uh, is is that some sort of um, software or device it's a software, software. because they, when they we take the every unit the the usage of the aircon right so they actually time the rate something and then become a cost lah. because mm. some my client commercial right they actually mm. rent out their office but the mm. aircon is belong to themselves and so they will charge their customer mm. uh, in terms of power monitoring uh, we can do that i mean we can check uh, based on uh, individual tenant but uh, so far we have never done uh, i mean power monitoring uh, combined with those um, auto billing software lah. but maybe in the future we can try to explore i believe uh, it can be done lah, because basically for monitoring we can obtain those uh, the power consumption kilowatt per hour then just times with the the uh, the rate lah, the nb rate right i think it should be yeah, yeah. maybe later on we can try to explore and get back to you uh, okay thanks hmm. Anyhow, uh, I think without the auto billing also, uh, basically we can just uh, roughly calculate the 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 NB rate lah from the 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 power monitor. There should be no issue. Also. Yeah, as long the kilo out kilo uh what hour can be extract out, and then from mm -hmm. the file actually they can convert. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. uh as long your system actually can extract out individual aircon the usage mm -hmm. of kilowatt hour, then mm -hmm. can be done actually. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, any other question on our control system? Actually, your VRS system, uh, the indoor, hmm. the, the communication system, uh, how it work? Uh? Okay. Uh, In between the indoor, outdoor, all this, any single line drawing sample and show us? Uh, single line drawing, okay. Hold on, uh. I share you something. Okay. Okay. okay i think this one i can i can show you this one also okay. so basically this one is a, we call it a wiring schematic of our vrf system so uh the wiring will be uh, 
communication wiring will be F1, F2 and also uh, R1, R2 lah. Okay. So uh, F1, F2 will be communication uh, between indoor units. So you just need to look uh, the F1, F2. Uh, for example, you have one system. You just look F1, F2 of the indoor units together then go to the outdoor unit. And then uh, for R1, R2, it will be for the centralized control system lah. Let's say you want to have a centralized control system, then you need to look the R1, R2 lah, okay? So R1, R2 will be between outdoor unit and the control system only, that's all. So this will be the communication lah. And then of course, uh, let's say if you have um, uh, combination of modules for the BRF outdoor unit, that one you will need to connect uh, OF1 and also OF2 lah between outdoor module. Uh, let me check if there's any other schematic. So the simple diagram will be like this lah. So you, if you have a uh, few systems, then F1, F2 loop between each system lah. And then... Um, you want to combine all the system uh, into one control system then r1 r2 you just look uh, between outdoor unit of the different system to this uh, to this uh, centralized controller lah. whether it is uh, the touch screen or maybe the dms 2.5 so r1 r2 if you have three touch controller you just look r1 r2 between the touch controller and you look to the outdoor unit of all the system all right what if uh, one of the indoor unit, uh, one of mm. the aircon, the communication board uh, uh, mm. got failure or burn out? Uh, is it will affect the whole system? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, mean the whole uh, system will down or? The uh, whole system will down. <laughs> because actually, uh, mm. we did have, uh, I mean, uh, we face also some of this issue. Uh, and uh, the funny thing, actually, some of the reason uh, why the there's a I mean a error like communication error actually because uh, there's a mouse or rat uh, they, uh, they <laughs> uh, bite the, the wire there until the wire breaks so <laughs> uh, no communication there will be error so uh, if um, if uh, there's a error between the communication wiring uh, the system will auto shut down and actually it will come out the error code lah. then uh, usually if those uh, maybe loose connection it will come out some certain maybe E101 and we need to know the meaning lah. Uh, usually E101 is a mis uh, communication error between uh, indoor and also outdoor so the technician we need to check lah. right uh, if breakdown um, um, actually if you are talking about uh, communication wiring um our technician will need to come i mean our service engineer we need to come and check lah. but if you are talking about error due to uh, indoor units maybe uh, one of the indoor units faulty or there's some error on the ev uh, that one also we can do some setting lah. meaning um uh, the first time it happens of course the whole system will, will shut down lah. Okay, but uh, once our service engineer come, he can do setting to bypass the error unit. But uh, that one actually within uh, 48 hours only. Lah. So meaning after 48 hours, um, the system will uh, shut down again. So meaning that within the 48 hours, uh, need to we need to check and also replace whatever necessary lah, on the system. So if let's say uh, the just now you are talking about the communication cable cable got problem uh, disconnect, uh -huh. can I do the circuit like ring circuit to improve it? Uh, sorry, coming you can do what? Ring circuit. That means another loop uh, from uh -huh. the last last one go back to the panel, the control uh -huh. board there. A ring circuit. Oh, meaning you want to add another loop lah? Uh, is it? Yes, from the uh -huh. last one to the to the your 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 device lah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I look. Can you help? Can and I do like that? Um, <laughs> I think because so. Still keep keep in the loop lah. Uh, understand, understand. Uh. Um, 
Well, uh, frankly speaking, uh, I never face, uh, I mean, I never try to use uh, like uh, two wires, I mean, to connect a double loop or something like that. Lah. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's a good question lah, because uh, this also sometimes will be quite a common issue. Also for I means sometimes the wire loose or maybe uh, whatever. Yeah, because at least at the middle, uh, they disconnect, uh, I still got the loop to cover back. Understand, understand. And then the uh, equipment still can be communicated. Uh, I take note on this one, then I, I get back to you. I think there are okay, some, thanks. There are some good questions from you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought your Tony, in, your indoor unit is wireless. Sorry. Indoor unit wireless. Ah. Uh. uh, indoor units. Uh, you are talking about the individual controller. No. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah okay okay like uh okay the first one you introduce uh, the split you know we can use wi-fi to control ma. Mm -hmm. so how about this one yeah hold on uh. Uh, this one is not uh. uh this one is um the in indoor this, unit mm. in this diagram uh for by default lah um for ceiling cassette we will be using a wireless controller mm -hmm. uh, but actually you have the option to use wired also lah so if you use a wired a controller you just need to connect the the communication uh, f3 f4 lah with the okay with the wired controller if it's wireless if it's wireless uh no need lah just the uh just the infrared lah, connection wireless connection between the uh, indoor unit and also okay the, but the from what i heard lah, uh some of them are uh, like convert converting all their all their air corner mm -hmm. they convert into wi-fi equipped uh -huh. yeah all, all of this all of their series lah, they basically face out all the old one lah. Mm -hmm. uh, how about yours uh, are you guys doing the same thing uh, yes, uh, like as I mentioned just now, uh, our equipment are uh, smart things ready. Uh, basically, you just need to connect the Wi-Fi uh, to the indoor unit. So, mm. it will be like this. Uh. So, okay. so, meaning to uh, say, actually, you got two connections. Uh. You got wired and Wi-Fi. Uh, wi uh. um, uh, yes. Let me... Let... Ah, okay. Uh, yes, totally. But me. actually, the, the Wi-Fi connection, you still need a Wi-Fi uh, kit, which is this... Yep. Uh, uh mim h03n uh, there's a new model uh, mim h 4 n so the basically the um, it's still it's still a it's still an option for you either to use wi-fi or the standard remote controller uh but we will still uh propose like uh, uh um what do you call this we will still propose to use the standard remote controller Okay, that's uh, that's controller. Mm. Um, but going back into the going back into your uh, con uh, the main controller, the uh, BMS can be Wi-Fi lah. Uh, the BMS will not uh, is not uh, Wi-Fi capable. No Wi-Fi capable. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. However, the, since the BMS is actually hooked up to your to your network, um, there is a there is a possibility that you can access the 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 BMS through your laptop that is connected via Wi-Fi. Mm. So, for example, um, you're in let's say your office, and then you have a BMS uh, backnet uh, gateway. Uh, because the because our interface is actually found on a website. Like uh, like one of those like router websites, one o two dot two two two, like like that kind of uh, web address. You will be able to access the 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 BMS via that web address. It's it's mm -hmm. not it's not a direct Wi-Fi access, mm -hmm. but it's a hack. It's like a it's 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 just a it's a small hack that you can do. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you have like a, you have a factory that has like around 15 indoor units. The response time is 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 still okay, but if you have that let's say like 500 plus indoor units, there is a little bit of a delay uh, because Wi-Fi is is not connected by a hard line to your laptop. Then there would be some delay. 
uh, transmitting the information from your laptop to the network to the DNS. So it's like that. So you don't <coughs> for the VLF you don't you don't really do uh, Wi-Fi connection between the uh, between the in in between the system lah. Yes, not, okay, not okay. in between the system. Okay. Yeah. The only Wi-Fi is that you we can add on to the indoor unit. Indoor unit so, uh, when uh, you yeah, control yeah. the indoor unit lah. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it, it would also depend on the kind of control that you would do. Like for example, I did this I'm doing this one project that I have a centralized touch controller and at the same time they also want the Wi Fi control kit. So what happens now is that the, you can control all, all of the units inside the, inside the project with the touch controller. Um, and then the Wi-Fi control can, can control all of the units that's connected to the Wi-Fi controller. Because there are some limitations to the Wi-Fi controller. There are some limitations to the touch centralized controller. So it would depend on um, the size of system um what kind of of uh, uh control you want to do what kind of um automations you want to do mm. so all of this will have uh will be able to do like um, those like auto um, auto scheduling uh, sorry scheduling and then auto turn on and turn off um or like uh dependent dependent on and off so all of these are still available to to those like uh, large centralized controllers, but the other ones, there's still some limitations. Okay. Uh, Toby, actually the hard cable, the wiring hard cable, actually yeah. already can do all this uh, temperature setting for the indoor, shut down the indoor. What is the main purpose that we're having a Wi-Fi? Um, well, actually for, for those who want to introduce to include Wi-Fi, um, they would still be able to have three ways to access their aircon. One is the, the, the central controller. The second one is their 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 remote controller, the individual controller. The third one is the Wi-Fi if they have the Wi-Fi uh, kit. Um, because for the Wi-Fi, for oh my. For my opinion, actually we can log in internet and then we can access anywhere. Uh -huh. Correct or not? Uh, yeah, correct, so correct, why, correct. why why should I have uh, a Wi-Fi everywhere and then I, only I can have the access? Maybe well, internet maybe have a delay a bit lah. Uh, uh, this is this is about the the BMS one. Oh, this is about the BMS. Yeah. Well, it's it's uh, as I said earlier. This is only uh, uh like a hack. It's not. It's not a direct way for you to access the 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 BMS. Usually, BMS only access through a uh, hardline through a computer. Hack hack meaning to say, uh, it's it's uh, your uh, secret tool. Uh, it's like if no, you, no. if it's you are a, having a, if if you need to troubleshoot remotely and uh, you can do that lah. Uh. But only uh, with no, you, no. only with Samsung. It's not like something as a software where you program it and you sell it to the end user, right? Uh, yeah, not, no, not to that also, stage yet. No, no, no. We also have that, uh, we also have that uh, product and we call it, uh, I think, SNET3 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Um, but what I mean about the hack is that... For uh, the current system, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, what I mean about the hack is that in case you have a VMS in your system and you have and you, and you can access your bms and, and you can access your your server via wi-fi you will be able to connect your laptop to the bms via wi-fi that's the only thing it's just a small hack it's oh. not the main access point oh okay okay hmm. is it just connecting with the bms huh? Yeah, it's just connecting okay. with the BMS via your. So via if I would if I would control this uh, this uh, 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 ceiling cassette, I'm actually going through the BMS. Uh. Yes. I'm not directly uh, communicating with the the unit. Uh. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. <clears throat> 
so uh, Nasir, you will go. You will come back to Tony about his, uh, how to say the fail safe, fail safe connection, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you already have that, la, Most, most, most probably, there's, there's, uh, there's definitely some kind of a, a, a method to tackle that. By the way, uh, have you, have you done it with the uh, other brands before this? Uh, Tony, have this one. Ask Tony, uh. Sorry. Uh, Tony, have, have uh, regarding the the combination cable, right? Have you done it with uh? uh-huh. Other, have you tried or with other brands? I mean, they can do uh, like. I use other brand is a hard hard cable lah. Hard cable. Communication so cable. Do. We are not using Wi Fi. No, the the, I mean the loop part just now. Just now you say loop. loop from the the, the last loop part unit. actually is uh, in a uh, series now. That's why I'm asking this question also to the another brand uh, whether we can do do a a, a ring group or not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, uh, okay. To make it fail proof lah, right? Something like that. Yeah, understand. Yeah. At least one of the cable break are uh, my other look the power back. Mm-hmm. Uh. Okay, okay. I try to I try to uh, check on this one. Uh. I check on this one and then uh, come back to you. Okay. It's a good question. Uh. <laughs> Probably your technician have uh, uh have something up his sleeve uh. It's like oh I just add this cable done uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we actually try to reduce the breakdown, or else the client every day will come call yeah. us. <laughs> Even the actually is the contractor have to handle this lah. But also we also learn from the our so called this type of uh, uh uh this type of failure lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we actually try to work together and then see whether we can improve better. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good, All right. So uh, I go back to uh, before that. Any more question on the uh, communication wiring or termination? Okay. No, I think we we proceed. So far, no. See okay. what else you have on your slides, and then only the only then we do a, a another Q and A quick one. Uh. We'll see what else you have on your slide first. Okay. Uh, so just now we see the type of controller. Lah. So we have those a uh, wireless wireless, and for the indoor unit, actually you can uh you can opt lah, whether you want to use a uh, wireless or wired up to you. Okay. So we can have uh, both, and then we have the centralized controller. Um, this a uh, touch controller, the MS two point five, which can also connect with the uh, those uh, PMS lah, right? So, uh, I guess uh, in summary of control system, uh, that's all I can uh, share to you. But uh, anyhow, in future, let's say if you really have, um, I mean, a specific requirement on a control system, you can always uh, go to us, uh, then we can uh, we can always uh, assist you, consult you on the best uh, solution. Uh. Because uh, when you are talking about control system, actually there are a lot of, I mean, uh, things uh, depend on the uh, customer requirement we can maybe uh, design right so that's all on our uh, project uh, product uh, presentation and last but not least will be our project reference uh. right so um, of course uh, project reference we have from light commercial up to uh, mega project and this one is uh, some of our uh, light commercial projects uh. All right, we have those uh, real kids, uh, small office, uh, cafe, right? Uh, those uh, franchise, uh, a pharmacy, uh, car showroom, office. So using a lot of our CAC and you know, also uh, VRF system, right? So this is some of our uh, latest project, uh, including those uh, Elgin factory, this one in Sarawak. Uh, those are warehouse, uh, custom, stay alarm, uh, welcome center, right? And uh, for mega project, uh, currently the latest uh, we have this uh, coronation square tower five. Uh, this one in Johor, so we are working together with um, uh, Coronet, okay, Coronet properties, 
then uh, of course we have few other projects lah. Uh, Star Residence, actually this one is our biggest project lah, 15.5 million equipment value. So consists of all our product range of split unit, uh, multi split and also VRF system. Then we have few project under UM land also, uh, mostly at Johor lah. Okay. So nice, suasana Iskandar, this one mix uh, hotel plus uh, residential and then we have uh, this Medini Lakeside. Currently uh, still in installation progress lah, right. And we have other few projects lah, uh, under few developers, top developers. Uh, those are MRCB, DK Properties, uh, those Muncak Dana, Gamuda Land, okay. Uh, so we have few lah from Gamuda Land. Then uh, Sepang Abani Gold Coast also using our, our units lah. So this one they are using our anti-corrosion model, right? Uh, special anti-corrosion model. And then a uh, few hotels project, right? Uh, and then uh, many others, uh, residential and also a few projects under developers. Uh. Okay, KSL in Johor, uh, RNF Properties also in Johor, and uh, Coral Mount, Nadayu, SS Jaya, KIP, and many others, uh, right? And in terms of design, um, of course, uh, sorry, in terms of support, of course, we provide you with uh, uh, any type of support, uh, technical uh, presentation or design uh, or any software. So uh, we can assist you in any way. So we also have some tools uh, to help you guys, uh, right? Uh, like this AC support tools, uh, I think will be beneficial also uh, for, for the consultant also. You can also download this one. But uh, uh, this one inside here, you can have those a uh, few options lah, right? Repair, you can see option code over here and you know the meaning. And uh, you can check uh, some of our products uh, spec, uh, including the previous, previous model. Okay, and a uh, simple calculation on uh, heat load lah, right? Cooling capacity. And you can find out our service center information over here for Malaysia. So complementary in house training. So we do conduct a lot of trainings, uh, which uh, actually under me. So those are technical training or maybe um, uh, software training, installation training. We also do. So let's say in future you you guys would like to know more on the on our products or on our uh, VRF system, then you can request uh, for, uh, from us for any training. No problem. Uh, we can also um, depending on the request, we can go to your office so we can conduct at our training academy there in uh Bisma Bentley next to IKEA the curve Ikea Mansara, right so this is uh one of our uh, design tools that help us uh, to design VRF system a lot lah, for our aircon system uh, we call it development pro uh, 2.0 so uh, like any other uh, brands there they also have their own software lah. But the best thing about us is actually this one is free of charge lah. Meaning all uh, our customer, uh, consultant, uh, those uh, installer, maybe contractor, they can also download this one for free of charge, right? So later on, I can share you guys the link. You can just need to uh, register your account and you can download for free lah. Okay. Uh, you can uh, do a lot of things over here. You can obtain those uh, pipes, uh, pipe sizing, those uh, pipe schematic, uh, the report, right? So sometimes you want to do budgeting, right? You want maybe you want to uh, estimate uh, this pipe size, how how long you require, what's the maybe refrigerant uh, gas required. So by having this software, you can generate the report and you can just uh, check on the summary there, right? Okay. So uh, our training center will be at Wisma Bentley, Shah Alam. We do have our running units over there. If you interested, we can bring you along there to see our units. All right, and also we do CFD analysis. Uh, right? CFD analysis, um, this one mostly for big project. Uh, you want to check maybe the noise or maybe heat generated from the outdoor unit. So you can always uh, ask uh, us uh, to, to assist you. So, uh, this one we don't do here in Malaysia, but we send to HQ in Korea. So this will take sometimes, uh, uh, three uh, at least three weeks, uh, three to four weeks or so. Okay. So our warehouse in Alam. So uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Any question? Uh, uh.
the previous question they asked, uh, can you get back the answer? Can you share to all the our our engineers? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So, uh, no, it's okay. It, it, I think you, you can send to me. I'll, I'll forward to all. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you send to me. Uh, you send, you send to Lawrence. Uh. Mm. He will forward to all. Can I have your email address? Maybe you can type yeah. in the chat. I'll, gi I'll give you my e-card afterwards. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so so basically, um, we'll do a little bit of follow up um, moving forward uh, next time, um, at least with um, those questions that you asked us, Tony. Uh, 